What's going on YouTube? It's me, it's the Comic Book Preacher, coming back at you with another video, another haul video. I know I haven't been on here, um, I haven't uploaded much content here lately. I know this past week, uh, for me, is a very busy week. Um, every year it is. It's, it's Easter week, it's Holy Week, and so I stay rather busy and had some time this afternoon. We're actually fixing to head over to my, my mom's house and uh, spend some time with her and we've got some family coming in some extended family so I'm pretty excited about that we're gonna grill out and you know just have fun um, probably hide some Easter eggs for the little kids and, and just and enjoy it so in the meantime I wanted to do an update um, I actually got a bunch of books to go through um, like I said because I haven't had the opportunity to post I do want to give a quick shout out to Comic Foo and Squatchy Comics they um, I should have a couple of their mystery boxes coming um, here really soon. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm not pretty excited. I'm very excited about those books. I got to kind of watch on their live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays of them building the mystery boxes and kind of got to see what's going into them and stuff. I'm super stoked to get those and, and I appreciate the, the hard work that, that they did to, to get those out to the community and I appreciate that. And guys, I just, um, before I jump into this and I'm not trying to be overly sappy or anything, um, but I do want to, to, express how much I appreciate the the comic community um, there has been um, several reasons and I've not been doing this for a long time and and different things but I, I do want you to know that this has filled a somewhat of a void in my life um, some of you know that uh, back in in January I lost my dad um, he uh, lost him to 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 COVID and it's been really hard my dad and I were very close we worked together um, we, you know, he was really my, my best bud and, um, it's, so I, I don't know if any of you have ever suffered loss or anything, but there's always a vacuum created there when you, when you lose somebody and, um, just collecting and, um, being part of this community has helped me, um, you know, and I'm not a touchy feely guy, so, um, I don't talk about this easily. But I want to say I do appreciate you guys and, and appreciate the, the camaraderie that I see. And, um, you know, guys like, like Squatchy and Foo have extended that olive branch of, of, of friendship to me. And um, I was on one of the, the Mystery Men shows, and I appreciate that more than, than they know. Um, and then, of course, Stevie B, you know, he just lives right down the road from me. He has been just a, a solid, tremendous, just incredible guy and, and a good friend, and I appreciate that. And we, um, I think we have in the, in the works a series of gun safety videos that's that's not true and, and by the way for those that were curious that horse is fine um, I contend that it stepped in a hole um, if you don't know what I'm talking about go and check out Stevie B's channel um, his uh, his video where we uh, where well he well he uh, we made a display for one of his prize books so anyway go check that out um, and like I said, again, i um, not trying to be overly sentimental, but I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate all of you, the, the ones that have subscribed and, and liked my channel. I know for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why people would want to watch um, a guy in, in a room in his house that collects stuff. And um, But I, I understand the appeal now, and, and because I like watching what you guys collect. I like seeing... Um, what you guys bring in, what you when you show what you collect, that, that kind of gets you inside your your head of, of what you like, your likes and dislikes, and, and kind of where your mind's at. So I appreciate that, and I think that's awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So what I have, I have um, a couple things. I don't have any mystery boxes, but um, I have my my local comic book store is uh, two hours away. Uh, we have one here in in town, but uh, again, if you've uh, saw Stevie B or some of my previous videos. Um, the owner is just not a, a good dude. Uh, I don't like patronizing businesses like that. I don't like giving my hard-earned money to somebody who who treats people that way. So I actually travel um, two hours away once a month. I have a pull list at, at the, the Comic Force in Branson, Missouri, which is about two hours from where I'm at here in northwest Arkansas. And uh, so I've got it worked out where I can go pick up my, my pull list once a month instead of each week. So my pull list videos will be a little bit longer because there's there's more. Um, fortunately, this past month there wasn't a whole lot. And then also I um, you know I go to um, bookstores and um, antique shops, flea markets, stuff like that. Try to find stuff in the wild. And, and every once in a while you can come across some pretty good stuff. And I think I've I've got some cool stuff to show today. So. I'll go ahead and jump right in with my pull list for this month. I'll go really fast, and, and I apologize, but 
uh, I want to get all this done today because like I said tomorrow's Easter um, it'll be at church and with my family so I won't have time to, to record tomorrow and then the work week kicks back off on Monday so um, anyway um, the I got Wolverine uh, black white and blood uh, number four and I'm, I'm a big fan of Wolverine but I really like the black white and blood series uh, so far the writing just been been awesome the art's been great but I got that that's number four I got uh, the amazing spider-man 61 with that new costume, I'll just drop that book into my face. Um, with that new costume and stuff, that's a first appearance, so that that may be a minor key. So that's pretty cool. Glad to get that one. And again, like I said, this is a month out, so um, there's a good chance that you've already seen your favorite YouTuber go through these and, and stuff. So I apologize. I'm always tardy to the party. So um, bear with me. This is the Immortal Hulk number 44. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of the Incredible Hulk. I collect my my main collection and, and what I like to collect. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Hulk, pretty much any any series of, of Hulk I, I dig on, um, and Venom and Carnage. And so those are my, my big things. And I collect other stuff here and there, but not to the extent that I collect the others. Uh, I was super excited about this, um, you know, with all the stuff going on at DC. They're, they're chopping stuff and rearranging things. But I was super excited to see the Joker and, and him get his his own run. That's number one. I am stoked to uh, to see where this goes. I know that uh, the, the the Joker character is such that there's a lot of good artists that want to draw him. So I'm excited to see what what DC does with that. And, and you know everything's up in the air there right now. But um, it's exciting. And I don't collect a whole lot of DC. Pretty much Batman and and um, that's about it. Um, and I actually like Batman from the the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, um, as, as far as the series go, I think that's some of the best writing. I appreciate the um, the guys that do the um, the retro review. They've been going through the Nightfall series, which is one of my favorites. Um, so I was excited about that. So I um, also got Deadpool, the Nerdy 30, um, issue one. Pretty excited about that, that 30-year anniversary. That's a cool cover, too. It's got all the, the heroes there. Covered in cake. I dig it. Um, and again, this is one that I was excited about with the new DC, um, The Infinite Frontier, Batman Ur Urban Legends. Um, and more or less, I got this is the first comic in a long time that I got just to read. And I was impressed. I liked it. Um, so I'm excited for, for more of those. Um, well, let's keep going. Uh, the King in Black, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Dig that cover. That's pretty awesome. Um, anything with King and Black and Symbiotes, I'm a fan of. I just, I like that. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 62. And this one, the, uh, the Savage Avengers, uh, number 19. And that's the, the variant cover. That's the only one they had. But, um, excited to get that. The Savage Avengers, I'm not a big fan of the, the team-up kind of things. But the, the whole series of Savage Avengers is just, it's dynamite. I highly encourage you to read that. Check it out. And so here is the last one of my, my pull list, and that is Carnage Black, White, and Blood, number one. It's a sick cover. Carnage, Venom, like I said, all the symbiotes, I dig them. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm down with that. So that was kind of my, uh, my pull list from my LCS. Uh, also, if you don't know, um, in, on Instagram, there's been several guys selling books. Um, Stevie B was one of them. And it's always convenient for me to buy from Stevie B because he literally lives right up the road from me. So, um, But I bought some books from him, and he is always, like I said, he's such a good dude. He's always gracious to, to throw in some you know, um, some extras. And I, I think he does that kind of um, almost like a drug dealer, you know, keep you coming back. Um, but anyway, um, so I bought some books from him, and he threw in Spider-Man, uh, The Parker Years, number one. And I think that's a standalone, actually. Um, then I got the Web of Spider-Man number 29, which you can't beat that. Anytime you got the, the symbiote suit Spider-Man, I dig it. And this one was one I'm always um, excited to get these. The, the older, um, the, the 80s, the 70s, 80s Incredible Hulk. We got 276 there. And that's it. I don't know if you can see that or not, this camera. But... It's in dynamite shape. I appreciate that. That's always good to be able to, to have in the collection. And then um, Marvel Zombies Resurrection. 
I got in late on the Marvel Marvel Zombie stuff, so I was uh, just pumped to see that to get that. That's awesome. And the Juggernaut number one. Juggernaut's one of my my favorite of the the villains or antiheroes or whatever you want to call them. I dig the the Juggernaut, and then. Batman number 86, and this is um, actually a, a key issue. It's got several first appearances, but also I want to, um, you know, try to complete this run of Batman. Uh, just dig it. And last but not least, the, the last one I got from Stevie B is the Amazing Spider-Man 275, and it's just it's it's in banger condition. You, could, you just can't beat that. I love that cover, like the the white negative space, how they how they do that, and you know, it's the return of the. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the origin of Spider-Man and the um, Return of the Hobgoblin. So that's pretty cool. I'm digging that. So that's that stack of books. And again, I apologize. I'm, I'm going fast, and I know this video is running a little long. Um, a couple pickups I got. Um, these I found um, kind of in the wild. but And I'm not a big Star Wars collector. I've got some issues, but it was cool to find two of uh, Star Wars Issue 6 in actually pretty decent shape for as old as they are. And, and these were books that um, people kind of abused. Um, they didn't see a lot of intrinsic value in them when they were printed. Um, but uh, these are just are really cool. Um, again, they're old. They're second printings. But, I mean, I got, I'm, I got them for 50 cents each. I got two, two for a dollar. Um, so that's pretty cool just to have the, you know, the original run and everything. I like that. Um, and then I ordered off of eBay. I ordered a Venom lot. Uh, like I said, I collect Venom. I actually ordered it for two books to complete two runs. But it had some other cool stuff. And I'll just show you some of the highlights. This is the Planet of the Symbiotes uh, Part 3, the Venom Super Special. And this is one I got to complete, the Knights of Vengeance. And that's uh, Part 4-4. Four, four. That's the last one. So it's cool to get that. Um, License to Kill, number two. Dig that. And Venom the Hunger, and this is the, the fourth one. So, able to complete those runs. So, that's pretty awesome. I like those. Um, and then the, the last thing, uh, again, I, I apologize, I'm going quick. I know this is going to be a long video. I'm trying to keep it down. Uh, found a guy on Craigslist that used to own a uh, sports card store and did different memorabilia and collections and stuff. And so, he actually has um, like 12 long boxes full of comics that, um, that he sells for about a buck a piece. And uh, he's got one box. Um, I found him on Craigslist, went over, bought several things from him to complete some runs. And um, he's got a box that's uh, it just, it's a, it's not a, it's, a, it's an old paper box. It's not even a comic book box, but um, it was number one issues. And so, um, again, he sells them for about a dollar a piece. But since I'm a repeat customer, he always gives me a little bit of a deal. But, uh, I opened it up and I found some cool stuff and these are all number one issues that I picked up. So uh, the first one, Wolverine Save the Tiger, number one. I don't know a whole lot about that, but it's from 92. I'm excited to, to get into that one. These were cool. We got uh, Star Trek, number one. And again, like I said, um, these are in awesome shape for as old as they are. We got Star Trek, number one. And then the other Star Trek, number one. <laughs> Um, I think one's volume one, one's volume two. I'm not a Trekkie, but I mean, you can't can't say no to that. I mean, I've got Shatner on the cover. That's pretty cool. So um, then he had uh, this one, which uh, was was odd because he doesn't have a whole lot of the the super modern stuff. But he had the Future State Wonder Woman number one, and I think that's the the new Wonder Woman there. Again, I'm not a DC fan, um, but that's always pretty cool to have the the number one issues. Uh, this one I was pumped to get. For less than a dollar, Punisher Warzone number one. That's pretty cool. I can dig that. This is another one. Sabretooth number one. Uh, then had the Titans Rebirth number one. I was happy to get this one. I have I have this issue and have had it for a while, but this one is in so much better shape. Shadow of the Bat number one. Pretty cool. Um, Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. Again, I had this one, but these are in so much better shape than the ones I have, so kind of an upgrade. Uh, this was a cool one, Secret Defenders, and it's got that foil cover, uh, just 90s goodness. Excuse me, I apologize. Again, this time of year, 
I love it, but my allergies just get out of whack. And this was one I didn't know that they had given Night Thrasher his own um, short series, mini series. But Night Thrasher, number one. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Um, this is one of my favorite heroes. Uh, I liked him when he was with Image. I like him when he's with DC. I just like pretty much anything. Grifter, number one. And then, um, again, this goes along with that. With the um, the Grifter, I saw this on the cover. I would actually never heard of this, but this is Wildcats and X-Men, the Silver Age. Number one, that's pretty cool. I can dig that. And then the last one, uh, Doc Samson, number one. You know, I know none of these are, you know, they're probably a lot of dollar bin books, and there's several more, but these are just kind of the highlights. We're getting to the, the 16 minute mark, so I need to, to close this out. But um, it's always cool. You know, I like to have the number one issues of the, the different series and stuff. And if I, if I dig it, if I read it, like it, then I'll, you know, start collecting, put together a run. So, guys, that's what I've kind of been up to. Uh, I've got several mystery boxes in the mail. Um, I've got another one coming from Shelby Comics. Like I said, as so far, uh, the Shelby Comics Mystery Box 2.0 is the best mystery box that I have, have come across as far as value goes, as far as um, just coolness goes. Uh, there's not a lot of filler. It's all just banger one, one after another. Uh, the customer service there is great. Shelby is just awesome. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out on, on Instagram. And uh, he's got an eBay store, so, so make sure you check him out there. But, guys, that's all I got. I appreciate you watching. Um, Thanks again for, for this community, for, for all you guys do. Have a happy Easter, and we'll see you next time.